Hi, I'm Paul. I'm the creator and developer of the Osmobot system. And today I would like to show you how I actually made the first Osmobot by studying and developing biospheres. My day job is a systems electrical engineer and on the weekends and at night, it's basically a microbiologist, organic chemist, or microscopy, the whole nine yards. And what I'm doing now is combining best of both worlds creating the first biosphere that I can actually put together any type of client that I want. A biosphere is really a hermetically closed system that really encapsulates an ecosystem by itself that can actually be used on Mars or on the Moon and really doesn't really require any other input other than heat and light. So what I've done over here is actually develop three of them that have been running roughly for about 22 months with fish and crayfish growing in there with really having to, not to do anything at all other than letting them grow. So one of the issues with a building biospheres is that you really can't uh, go into the biosphere because they're so small. And so I had to actually build instrumentations to measure carbon dioxide, humidity, temperature, uh, oxygen, uh, methane, all these, uh, ozone, all these things. So I used my systems electrical engineering stuff to be able to build uh, these, these devices. And then uh, I can actually measure and monitor how the biosphere is running. And it's surprisingly how inexpensive and easy they were to use. So as I was developing and building all these pieces of monitoring equipment inside the biospheres, I also learned that there's a lot of other people out there who can actually use and benefit from this. And this is an inexpensive way to be able to uh, monitor and understand how your hydroponic, aquaponics, and bioponic systems are running. So here's the base unit. Basically it's uh, the board and actually the cover that goes with it, goes into it. It actually checks for DO, pH, water temperature, water level, air temperature, and the level of the light spectrum every 15 minutes. And what I found people needed was a convenient way to be able to access this information. So it's available on your iPhone or on your Android simply by an application. So you can get it anywhere you want in real time for, guess what, under 500 bucks. So really what I'm trying to do is we're gonna be putting this into the biospheres and doing it for verification to make sure that the system works. And then later on, we'll I'll be having add-ons to it. So you can add, add CO2 or you can add methane, you can add um, ozone or any other type of instrumentation that might be make sense to do. So really I found out that by actually making biospheres and thinking that I actually want to put people on Mars and on the moon and having them eat something is actually we can help people here on Earth today by actually making a system that they can buy and use for themselves.